budget CG products available in India? This is a question and a video request that I get so much and today I finally give you this video. So this video is about budget friendly, CG friendly, cruelty free options for hair care in India. Okay, this video is not sponsored at all. In fact, I haven't made any sponsored content on my channel. I have definitely received PR, which means that brands do send me products. But I always make sure to tell the brands that look, just because you're sending me PR doesn't mean I'm going to give you a glowing recommendation. PR doesn't mean I'm going to say only good things and I'm not going to say bad things or I'm going to hide or omit or conceal or do any of that. In fact, it's really nice that the brands also agree and accept and say, yeah, that's totally fine. Go for it. Please be honest in your reviews. And that is how, you know, even if a brand sends me PR, I like to keep my sense of like autonomy where I don't feel like I'm sort of restricted by what the brand wants me to say. Not that I'm saying that there's anything wrong with sponsored content. Ultimately, when it comes to content creators on YouTube, for a lot of people, this is YouTube. Content creation is a full-time job. And what if you went to work and you worked for the entire month and did not get paid? I mean, that's not fair, right? So if you trust your creator, and if you believe and know that your creator does not lie, is super honest in their reviews and stuff, there's nothing wrong with sponsored content. But I had to give this disclaimer in this video. So firstly, let's talk about Pre-Poo. Now, Biotech has their Bringraj oil which retails for 111 rupees on Amazon. Now look, when it comes to Biotique, yes, the brand is not super transparent when it comes to their ingredients. But look, when it comes to an oil, you can be totally sure that there's no silicone or sulfate in it. So we can very safely say that their oil is CG friendly. I have reached out to Biotique and I have spoken to them about their shampoo and conditioner and stuff and hopefully I'll hear back from them soon about whether their products are shampoo, conditioner and stuff are CG friendly or not. But for now, we can safely say that the oil is a very good bet. In fact, when it comes to CG friendly oils, look, nobody is putting silicone in oil, nobody is putting a sulfate in oil. So rest assured, no matter what oil you have at home, we can very safely say that it is definitely CG approved. And if you can look for Bringraj, Brahmi or Amla oil, this is the Ayurvedic trifecta when it comes to pre pooing your hair. So look out for these kind of oils. You will find a lot of options that are budget friendly. So for shampoo, I have two options to give you guys. And the first shampoo is the Wow Charcoal and Keratin Shampoo. Look, that till date continues to be my favorite shampoo because I have an oily scalp and I feel like that shampoo really gets rid of the dirt and the grime and helps me with my oiliness. Now, when it comes to mixing pre with the shampoo, all you have to do is shampoo twice. If you watch my protein moisture video, you will know that that shampoo is a moisture product and not a protein product because protein doesn't feature in the top five ingredients on the list. So that has to be my favorite shampoo. If you have an oily scalp, then this is a shampoo that you might really enjoy. In fact, if it wasn't for this shampoo, I don't think I would have continued CGM. You will get the 100 ml from between 100 to around 260 rupees. You will find it on WOW's website or on their app. And also you will find it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. The second shampoo that I have to talk about is the Mom's Co Protein Shampoo. This is a moisture shampoo. And you will always find this shampoo on discount. In fact, I paid 306 rupees for it. So be prepared to spend from like 306 to around 350 rupees for this shampoo. It's a really nice shampoo. It's really mild. It is CG approved. It is cruelty free. If you feel like you're not comfortable with the Wow shampoo because you have a dry scalp, then maybe this shampoo would be a better fit for you.
Now, clarifying shampoos. What does this mean? Once in four to six weeks, you'll need to clarify your hair. And for that, I would recommend the Requil shampoo. Both of them are clarifying shampoos. I love the Requil shampoos. In fact, I'll tell you what. If you're a wavy girl and if you're using very heavy pre-poos like castor oil, coconut oil, and you're having trouble washing these oils off with your normal CG approved shampoo, then I feel like if you just focus the shampoo on your roots and your scalp and don't apply shampoo to your lengths and you have wavy hair, then I feel like you can get away with this shampoo and use this every single week. Just remember that when you're clarifying, then you get your lengths. And on other days when you're not clarifying, just focus the shampoo on your scalp and you should be good. You can absolutely get away with this shampoo and not buy like a normal shampoo and a clarifying shampoo. This shampoo could do both. This shampoo retails for 450 rupees. Sometimes it is on sale on Amazon. So yeah, I really like it and I would wholeheartedly recommend it to you guys. Now conditioner, when it comes to conditioner, we look for slip, right? We look for a good, nice, peaceful, happy detangling experience. And the best way to do it on a budget is with the Requil conditioners. The slip is amazing. The conditioners are beautiful and creamy. You won't have any problem. So I'll leave my porosity video up here. Check this video out if you're not sure about your porosity. So yeah, if you have medium to low porosity, then I would say go for the Babasu conditioner because it is really nice and creamy. It has incredible slip and you won't have any problem detangling your hair. But if you have high porosity hair, then I would say go for the Murumuru conditioner. That review will be on my channel in a few weeks time. But yeah, you will really enjoy this conditioner. Both retail for 350 rupees. You will find it on Amazon. I'll leave them both linked down below. I don't think I've come across anyone who dislikes the Requil conditioners. So I feel quite confident in saying that if you're on a budget and you're looking for a CG approved conditioner, then I feel like the Requil is a very safe bet. Now, deep conditioning. So let's talk about hair masks. Now, Bombay Shaving Company has a hair mask. It is called their onion and egg hair mask. And on Amazon, you will always find this on discount. I got it for 259 rupees. I will do a detailed review if you're interested in it. But yeah, I like the hair mask. It's really nice. The price point is really good. I reached out to Bombay Shaving Company and I asked them for their full ingredient list. I'll put it up here somewhere. So I tallied the ingredients on isitcg.com and it is CG friendly. So if you're looking for a hair mask under 300 rupees, then you can safely go for the Bombay Shaving Company deep conditioning hair mask. This is a moisture hair mask, even though it does have protein. You will notice that the first five ingredients do not contain protein. So consider this to be a moisture option. Now, when it comes to a protein hair mask, now, there isn't a budget option. The cheapest hair mask that is a protein hair mask would be the Wow Black Spruce Bark Hair Mask and a few others. In fact, I think all of the Wow hair masks contain protein and they have quite a bit of film forming humectants, really good for high porosity and low porosity hair. The Wow hair masks have pro vitamin B5, which is panthenol, again, a film forming humectant. Those would be really good for low porosity hair because as we know in low porosity hair, the cuticle is shut very tight and it's very difficult for the hair to push the moisture in, right? This is where a film forming humectant would be key because a film forming humectant will not only hold on to moisture but it will also hold on to moisture in and around itself and form a coating on the hair. I spoke about all of this in detail in my humectants video. If you haven't watched that video I would highly 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 recommend you watch it. I'm gonna put it up here. So yeah 
although the mask is around 499 rupees wow keeps having these discounts and till now i feel like this is the cheapest mask that i've seen it's really rich it's thick and creamy so if you're looking for a protein option then this would be a safe bet my first recommendation obviously would be the requil p protein mask but that retails for 750 and therefore it doesn't really come into the budget category and also wow keeps having quite a lot of discounts in fact once i bought 5 shampoos for 600 rupees from wow's app so you will find this on discount quite a bit sometimes they'll have really good deals and you can get this mask for like 300 to 350 rupees so when it comes to a protein dc treatment save some money keep it aside wait for a discount and then you can buy this one i will also look out for more protein deep conditioning treatments that are budget options if i find any more i will update the description so look out for that Now, if you have low to medium porosity hair and you feel like you've just started CGM and you're really overwhelmed with all of these products out there and you don't want to spend too much money because you're not sure about whether you want to continue CGM or not and you don't want to splurge on a deep conditioning treatment all you can do is take your normal conditioner and just add one or two drops of oil to it and then use that as a deep conditioning treatment some options for oil would be moringa oil i'm leaving it down in the description i got this for 180 rupees really nice beautiful light oil and you might really enjoy adding this oil to your deep conditioning treatment which are the oils that you can add My number one choice would be the moringa oil because it is the lightest oil. So if you have low porosity hair then maybe this would be a good oil to add to your deep conditioning treatment. You'll get this oil for 180 rupees. I'll link it down below. The second option that I have for you guys are a combo of two oils. So you get jojoba oil and argan oil together. These two oils are so nice. You can use these oils as serums. You can use these oils for log. I have a video on it. I'm going to leave that video up here. Do check it out. You'll see the oils in action. There are so many functions and uses for these oils that I would wholeheartedly vouch for them. So if you buy the combo of the jojoba oil and the argan oil together you'll pay 369 rupees. And if you have high porosity hair then go with Jamaican black castor oil. You just need one drop of this. Trust me it's a really really heavy oil and it could really add a kick to your DC treatment. I bought Jamaican black castor oil from Amazon for 280 rupees. I'll leave it all linked in the description with the prices so you can definitely check that out. Okay, leave-in conditioner. A lot of people use normal conditioner as their leave-in when they start CGM. I did it too, and most of us do this for budget reasons. I have a video on whether you can use normal conditioner as your leave-in conditioner. I would highly recommend you check out that video. I'll leave it up here. Mostly when it comes to embracing CGM, I think the biggest problem that all of us have initially when it comes to products would be your leave-in conditioners because I think this is the most priciest item out there in the market. So, today on my hair, I've used a new leave-in conditioner. It is by Northwish Naturals and the brand has given me a discount code for 20%. So, after discount, you will pay 472 rupees for the leave-in conditioner. I've used it today. I will also put up footage of the founder. Her name is Narisha and her hair is too dye for. This is a new brand, female owned brand. It came out of a need. So Narisha is half African and half Indian. So she has curly hair and she realized that in India there was nothing for her and that is how this brand came to be. So I feel really happy showing my support for a female entrepreneur who went out there and created products genuinely authentically because she felt like there was a need for it. Now Narisha has 3B medium porosity medium density hair. I have high porosity, medium density, 2B hair. These are the results on my hair. Incredible shrinkage, incredible definition, beautiful shine, beautiful gloss.
I will make a detailed review on all of their products but you will have to wait for a little bit for that. For now, I think it will be helpful for you to see the results of the leave-in on my hair and on her hair. So I feel like this leave-in could potentially work for quite a few different kinds of hair. If you feel like the leave-in is too light, then just use it in combination with an oil. So use log method. And if you feel like the leave-in is too heavy for you, then all you have to do is dilute it. What I noticed about the leave-in is that it is a very light formulation. It's quite fragrant, it's quite beautiful smelling. I'll leave their Instagram handle link down below. Narisha, I have the biggest crush on your hair. I literally, I can't. Anyway, whatever. If you're looking for a leave-in conditioner and you feel like this fits your budget, then you could go for this one. Now, last but not least, gels. If you're just starting CG, then all you have to do is get yourself any aloe vera gel. You'll find so many in the market. Most of them will come for 100, 150, 200 rupees. Pick up any aloe vera gel or just make your own. It is so easy. If you feel like you need a little more hold, then just get yourself some flax seeds. You will spend 70 rupees for half a kg of flax seeds. Flaxseed gel is so easy to make. Quite literally, you take the flaxseed, you take some water, you boil it till the water has reduced and it's become all sort of gloopy. You just have to wait for that to dry. Store it in your fridge. Don't keep it for really long. So make small batches. And you could absolutely use that DIY flaxseed gel for your hair. Now, the last option that I have to give you guys is the Enliven Gel. You will spend 149 rupees for 250 ml and you'll spend 249 rupees for 500 ml. If you feel like you need strong hold, then go for the blue variant that is a level 4 hold. And if you want hold that is a level 5, then go for the green variant of the Enliven Gel. It is what I've used on my hair. In fact, you guys know that I use the Enliven gels quite a bit on my hair. I've used the red one, I've used the green one, I've used the blue one, and I've used the orange one. I have no complaints. If you feel like that's drying your hair out, then all you have to do is overcompensate with your deep conditioner. Overcompensate with your leave-in conditioner. And you'll notice that even though the Enliven gels have alcohol, it is not going to dry out your hair. All you have to do is condition your hair, deep condition your hair, moisturize your hair and overcompensate with all of these steps and you'll notice that the gel is not going to dry your hair out at all. In fact, when I use the Enliven gel, I have curls from day 1 to day 7. I mean, obviously my day 7 curls don't look like day 1 curls but they're still really pretty and really nice. I mean, I like them. And so I would wholeheartedly vouch for the Enliven gels. Whew. So that was it. That was the video. Hopefully you gained some value from this video. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. Feel free to share my videos with your friends because when you do things like this, when you leave me a comment, when you leave me a like, when you share my videos, these things really help me out and it helps YouTube get my videos in front of more people. This is a new channel. I really depend on your support to grow. And I always try my level best to give you the best content possible. So if you can help me out, engage with my videos and help me grow this family further. All right. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.